Are you an educator who makes educational presentations using PowerPoint? Then this is a must watch video for you. If possible, if you like it, please share this video with as many educators as possible so this message spreads. Do you know that some of your PowerPoint slides might unintentionally be excluding some of your students? The slides that you carefully planned might actually be creating barriers to their understanding. Yeah, studies have shown that almost one out of every five students face difficulty in understanding traditional slides and there is a way to overcome that issue. But first let me tell you how I actually found out about this issue. When I was a trainer in a bank, I always had this habit of asking a lot of pop quizzes just to ensure that my participants always paid attention to whatever that I was teaching. During one of those pop quizzes, I happened to notice in an orientation course, a young shy student, a shy participant was making a lot of mistakes whenever I asked questions regarding chart based slides. Initially I thought he was not really paying much attention and therefore to ensure that he constantly paid attention, I kept asking him more questions about those number based slides and he was making mistakes over and over again. And later during the tea break, the shy participant slowly walked up to me and said, Ram, I'm sorry I was not able to answer your questions correctly. That is because I have color blindness. I can't really differentiate between the various colors that you have shown in the charts and that is the reason why I was not able to tell you the right answers. It really shocked me. Until that point I never even realized that there was such a thing called color blindness. And later when I did some research I happened to find that color blindness is way more common than what I thought. As per colorblindawareness.org, color blindness or color vision deficiency affects approximately 1 in 12 men. That is around 8% of men are affected by color blindness and it affects 1 in 200 women. And approximately there are about 300 million people with color blindness in this world and you can see that it is quite common. There are many causes for color blindness and there are many types of color blindness. And these are a couple of beautiful photos that show the difference between how a normal vision, a person with normal vision looks at the world and how somebody with color blindness looks at the world. If the person has tritinopia, this is how the person sees the world and you can see the difference here. And similarly, if a person has deuteranopia, this is how the person looks at the world, whereas this is the normal vision. Do you know that PowerPoint has a beautiful option that helps you avoid making such inaccessible slides for your presentations? Unfortunately, most educators have no clue about such an option and therefore are unintentionally creating barriers for the student's understanding. Now, let me show you how color blindness practically affects the way people see your charts. Here, I would like to insert a default chart which looks like this and I say OK. This is the regular chart and most of the people use this color theme. Let us see how the same chart would look to someone with color blindness. For that you need to go to this tab called review which I'm sure most people have never even seen once. Now when I go in to check accessibility in the review tab, I see a beautiful option called inspect without color. When I click on that option, this is how somebody with color blindness sees your chart. How many do you think can differentiate between this color and this color, especially when it is projected on a screen? No wonder that shy participant couldn't answer the questions correctly in the pop quiz. So the solution is whenever you make your charts, make sure that you go to review, check accessibility and click on this inspect without color option to see if it is possible for anybody with any disadvantage to look at your chart and understand the information. Another common reason why your PowerPoint slides might not be understood well by your audience is because of their visual and auditory impairment. And thankfully, PowerPoint has a solution for that too. First, let me show you the option available in PowerPoint to help those with hearing impairment to understand your information. Let us go to review once again, go to check accessibility, and you have this option here called always use subtitles. Let me check that option. Now let me go to slideshow and let us see the difference. You can see that my slideshow is slightly different from the usual way it looks. And you can see subtitles here. And whatever I say is nicely translated and shown as subtitles and therefore 
even if somebody can't hear what i'm saying they can read what i'm saying and can therefore understand the information there is another option in powerpoint that allows visually impaired students to understand your slides better usually they use screen readers to make sense of whatever text that is written on your slides but what about those cases where you use pictures on your slides that is where alt text option works if you are using office 365 powerpoint then when you go to insert pictures and use stock images option you would notice that any of the images you select automatically come with alt text option so let me select this one and say insert and here we have the picture now let me select this picture go to review go to check accessibility and go to this option here called alt text i can see that there is already a caption given here it says person and child sitting together and this is what the screen reader would read out about this picture to someone who is visually impaired now if you are not inserting pictures from inside office 365 then there is a way for you to add alt text you follow the exact process you go to review check accessibility and come to alt text and here it is possible for you to write your alt text information manually i can go here and say uh, a man and his child are playing together so whatever is the way that i want my audience to understand i can write this information now sometimes it so happens that you add some images purely for decoration naturally it is good that the screen readers avoid such decorative pictures so if you have a decorative picture on your slide how can you ensure that the screen readers are ignoring it it's very simple you can check this option here called mark as decorative and observe what happens to this as a check there is no alt text information for that picture and therefore the screen readers won't unnecessarily confuse the people with information about decorative pictures another reason why your participants can't make sense of what you're saying in your presentation is because they can't understand your language yeah this too is an impairment of some sort if you're making a presentation in english non native english speakers will find it hard to understand your language fortunately PowerPoint has a fix for that too. In fact, there are two ways to help those who can't understand your language. The first option is the subtitles option. Only that this time we are going to use that for translation. I can go to subtitle settings and I can change the language for subtitles. This is the spoken language. This is English that I'm talking and then subtitle language can be any other language. For example, let us say I want to add Hindi and let us go to this one when i go to slide show as i talk about whatever this particular slide says you can see that the translation is here in the subtitles it's very helpful for those who can't follow your language now there is another way you can translate whatever you have on your slides let me show you let me go to review and i have this option here called translate now let me click on that and you have a new tab here that shows what needs to be translated as i select this instantly the translation happens here and the language used is also quite easy for anybody to understand if you are someone who follows hindi you can see that it says achhi tarah se taiyar kare which is the translation for the first one which is prepare thoroughly now there is another beautiful thing here as i highlight this you can see that the corresponding word is being shown in translation isn't that beautiful and it can be any other language for example i can go here and maybe i can choose some other language let us say tamil so let me go to tamil here and you can see nangu tayar seyavum which is the meaning for this particular first sentence and let us take this word which says kattu padutha patta which means controlled and you can see the corresponding translation shown and if i go to say telugu once again let us go here and say telugu and here it uses even an easier and colloquial way of translating whatever that is shown here for example it says baga prepare a vandi and you can see that prepare is an english word and it has used such colloquial normally used words in telugu and for a specific word say baga you can see that the translation is nicely so it doesn't really matter which language you want your information to be translated to it will be translated and understood by people very easily 
I have a complaint about this accessibility checker tool in PowerPoint. It's not accurate. The reason why I'm bringing this up is sometimes you might think that if your slide passes through accessibility checker, then everything is good about it. But the reality might be otherwise. Let me show you what I mean by that. Now take a look at review and I've gone to check accessibility and here is my accessibility assistant. When I click here, this is what it shows. It says keep going, everything is good and fine and I can understand for this slide because there is a beautiful contrast between the background and the text. Now let me make some changes here and it'll still say you're doing a great job. Let me right click, go to format background and let me use say this green color. Usually there is an issue for people with color blindness to make sense of green and red and you can see the information here as well. Now let me change this color for the font to something very light. Let me go to font color and maybe choose something like say this much. Now everybody knows that this is poor contrast and people can't really read this. Now let us take this and make this color exactly the same color as the color of the background. Now no matter who you are you cannot really read what is given here. Let us see what this accessibility checker says. It says keep going. So if you were to believe this accessibility assistant then you might think that your slides are perfect. But please don't make that mistake. Use proper judgment and make sure that there is sufficient contrast between the background and the text and also ensure that you go to inspect without color option and check if your charts are making sense even with this inspect without color option. I sincerely hope that Microsoft fixes this issue and help a lot of educators make presentations that are accessible for everyone. And leaving that aside, every time you make an educational presentation, if you create a habit of checking your slides through this accessibility checker, then you will really be helping a lot of students to understand your information. What I've shown you is just one small capability of PowerPoint. PowerPoint is a powerhouse if you know how to use it well. Most educators have only scratched the surface of this beautiful tool. If you are someone who wants to take full advantage of all the features of PowerPoint and use it like a pro, then I have a program called Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. I will leave a link to the program in the description below. You can check the program out and see how that program can totally transform the way you create your PowerPoint presentations. And if you want to get thorough with the basics of PowerPoint, then the next video I would recommend for you to see is this one called PowerPoint for Beginners. It has around 4.1 million views already and it is quite well liked by our viewers. So I leave a link to this video here right on your screen. You click on the link and watch this video next and I will see you inside.